YouTube, what is going on? Back with my latest video, back with another comic book haul. So yesterday was new comic book day. I got some pretty cool pickups. Uh, it was a little bit of a light run this week, but I did get some really dope things over the weekend. I kind of went a little crazy. So want to show you guys all the things I got. So let's get right into it and see if you like any of these. Here we go. Before we get into this video please smash that like button down below let me know you guys are enjoying these videos and as always if you're not already subscribed to my youtube channel hit subscribe button below as well so you're updated to my most recent content and hit that bell notification so you're alerted as soon as i post a new video so i did pick up several things to uh over the weekend and yesterday on new comic book day that i want to show you guys uh, i'm going to start off with the things i got yesterday um all the new issues that dropped and just wanted to show you guys what i picked up so I got this first thing was Seven Secrets number one. This is the third print. Very, very dope book. Like, I, again, I keep stressing uh, how great this book is. If anybody's not really into comic books and is looking for something just to cool to read, this one's really good. Uh, I strongly recommend getting this one. Uh, you know, eventually, I think it's going to end up being something, maybe a movie or TV show one day. It's definitely got that kind of vibe and uh, definitely something I think you guys should check out. Up next, we have Thor number four. I think this is the second printing. No, this is the third printing of Thor number four. You have uh, Thor and Galactus on the cover. Very, very dope. I've been um, wanting to track down all these uh, Thor runs, you know, for the first six at least, um, just because it was a great story. And uh, all these covers are pretty dope. Next, we have Thor number three. You got Thor fighting with Beta Ray Bill right there. Very, very dope cover. Always like when they do these little uh, horizontal covers something different uh up next we have thor number one this is also the third printing of thor number one haven't read thor number one yet so definitely um excited to read this this one up next we have strange academy 2 this is also the third printing hearing very good things about strange academy haven't sat down and actually read it yet but definitely has a whole lot of new characters in it um whole new story so very dope. Definitely could see them doing this in the future with Marvel, uh, the MCU, with Doctor Strange. Up next, this is a new book, actually. This is Web of Wraith. Web of Venom Wraith. And uh, you got Noel on the cover right there. And, uh, you know, definitely a hyped up book. Um, I don't know much about it. I haven't read it yet. But it had this cover. And this was cover B. And this was cover A of that uh, book. So, Definitely uh, interested in sitting down and reading this, seeing what's going on, but nonetheless, dope covers either way. And uh, I went through the uh, back issue bin and also the clearance bin. I went through the clearance bin and found 50 cent issues. I got uh, Harbinger number zero, Harbinger number two, four, five, six, and seven. So. I'm getting a whole lot of these Harbinger issues. Again, I think that's gonna be something big soon to get them for 50 cents. You know, you can't pass that up. I'm interested in reading that story and seeing what's going on. But the find of the day for me yesterday had to be this one. Um, I didn't know this even existed, so I was very, very happy to find this in the back issue bin. And it is Dragon Ball number one. So you guys know I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan, so this was a must have for me as soon as I saw it. Um, I think I paid five bucks for it. I don't know what it goes for, but you know, for five bucks, I won't complain too much about it. But you got that uh, iconic Goku and the Shenron uh, picture back there. For whatever reason, Shenron's blue. I don't remember him being blue in like Dragon Ball, but I guess in the old, um, you know, like illustrations of him must have been blue. Um, but very, very dope. I, I guess I'll read it one day, but I kind of just like display it. Um, I don't think I'll get this graded, uh, but I'll definitely find a way to display it and make it look nice. And uh, yeah, definitely a must have for me in the collection. So up next, I want to show you guys some things that came in the mail through pre-orders or whatever. Um, I got this new book, Grendel, Kentucky. Heard it's very, a uh, very good story. I think it's about like them growing weed or something. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what it's about, but I heard some good things. So I decided to check it out. So I got that cover and also I got cover B as well, which is very, very dope looking. So I'll, I'll check that out, see if uh, it's any good and let you guys know. I also got Cat and Marvel number 18. This is the second printing. Uh, happy to track this down. Uh, first appearance in there, I think of Lori L. 
Up next, this is one I had to get just because uh, I grew up, um, you know, with this uh, property, Dr. Seuss. And uh, I actually got into college based on a college essay that I wrote about Dr. Seuss. So uh, I have a little bit of a, um, uh, you know, passion for Dr. Seuss, a soft spot in my heart for it. So I had to get this. This is Ice Cream Man number 20. This is the second print with the uh, cover from um, all, the, all the Places You'll Go. And uh, yeah, very dope cover. I wasn't able to get the first one. I think there's a third one coming out as well. So maybe we'll track that down. And last but not least, I got this Hellions number three um, variant. This is the uh, trade variant, and then you got the Virgin variant right there uh, with, I believe, it's Madeline Pryor and Mr. Sinister. So couldn't pass it up. Anything Mr. Sinister always grabs my attention, and very, very happy to get this. So let me show you what I got in the uh, over the weekend. So they had a sale going on at my comic book shop um, where they had all the back issues on sale and they also had um, several uh, comics uh, for like 20% off, 30% off. So it was all the vintage stuff that was actually on sale. So let me show you guys what I got. So first I got, I had to get this. This is Top Cat in comic book form. Again, I don't know if these Hanna-Barbera Disney ones are worth any money or the Looney Tunes. Um, some are, most aren't but I just like them. Um, I, I do think I might get some of these graded. Um, I, I don't think they'll come out very high. It's in horrible condition, but just as a way to display it, they're not ever gonna get any worse at that point. And maybe one day they'll be worth something, but I just think they would look very, very dope as display pieces. Uh, so there you go, first one, Top Cat. And uh, up next, we ha I had to get this. This is San Diego Comic-Con um, issue. It was limited to 6,000 pieces. And it's the Days of Future Past uh, cover. But it's got like the uh, Lego Mini Mates things, or, or Marvel Mini Mates. And uh, I just thought it was a very dope cover. I didn't pay much for it, and I'd never seen anything like that before. So to get something from um, STCC in an iconic cover was a must-have for me, and very happy to have that in the collection. And again, I had to get something dope for Uncle Scrooge. Anytime I find a cool Uncle Scrooge um, cover, I always tend to pick it up. Um, I like, uh, you know... Um, Scrooge McDuck, he's one of my favorite Disney characters of all time, and uh, the only thing with him on there is a, a win for me. Definitely have to track down some of the bigger issues. Uncle Scrooge does have some expensive issues out there. Maybe one day I'll splurge and get one of those, but for right now, very happy with that. So, I went through the other uh, bins and found some other dope things as well. I got this Wolverine number 37. I think these were all $1.50, so I couldn't pass that up. Very cool issue right there, iconic cover for the Wolverine series. Uh, you have Wolverine 38, so the issue right after that. You know, slowly but surely building up more and more of these X-Men um, comics and side issues. Got Miracle Man number one. Very, very dope cover, very cool issue. Up next, I have She-Hulk number two. This is the second appearance of She-Hulk. Uh, for $1.50, really happy to get that. Uh, definitely think that the She-Hulk show that they're gonna drop on um, either Disney Plus or wherever it's gonna be. It's gonna be a very good one. Um, she also a really dope character. She has a lot of uh, things they can do with her. Up next, we have a couple of Avengers comics. We have Avengers number 133, or eight, 183, excuse me, 183. We have Avengers 184, very cool cover. And we have Avengers 186 with that dope Scarlet Witch cover. So again, these are all $1.50, so couldn't pass it up. Uh, you know, like anything you get undercover, all these are key issues, either minor keys or major keys. Um, you know, I, I don't know each one unless I know it, I'll, I'll tell you, but they're all key issues. We have X-Men number 529. You got that Hellfire Club, Sebastian Shaw, Emma Frost, and I think that's Kitty Pride down there cover. Very, very cool looking one. Uh, this is X-Men number 528. Uh, I don't know the characters in this, but it's like the first Nigerian character in uh, Marvel Comics, I think, makes appearance in here. I don't remember the character. If you know it, drop down in the comment section below. And uh, this very, very cool looking one, this is X-Men 455. You guys know how I feel about Psylocke. Anything with her on the cover is a win for me, and this was a dope one to add to the collection. Um, so another X-Men, we have 285. Uh, again, an iconic cover from back in the 90s. All right, so moving on, I got a Thor. 235 getting a lot of these thor key issues um you know i had to track down some some of the other ones and uh maybe get some of the ones in higher grade because a lot of ones i'm getting are in lower grade but no no grade low grade is better than no grade so happy about getting that now i got a whole lot of fantastic four keys so i got 
Fantastic Four number 121. I got this very cool one, 122, with uh, Galactus and uh, Silver Surfer. Looks like they're at like Six Flags tearing it apart or something. I don't know what is going on in there, but a very cool cover. We have Fantastic Four number 125. Very cool, very iconic. 129. We have 130 with this very cool thing cover right there. We have 131. So like I said, I got a whole lot of Fantastic Four stuff. Trying to load up on it, especially with them entering the Marvel Universe very soon. Um, definitely think it's a good idea to get Fantastic Four keys right now. You never know who they're going to uh, put in the movies. And, you know, always cool to track them down for $1.50. Uh, this is 133. No, 132 right there. Uh, 140. Very cool cover. I think there's a new villain right there. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Fantastic Four 142. This is actually a duplicate, but mine was in horrible condition. I think it was like tears in the cover, so uh, happy to get this in a better condition. Uh, we have 150 right here with Ultron on the cover. Very, very cool. 166 uh, with Hulk and the Thing fighting. I got a couple of the Hulk versus Thing um, like iconic battles, so happy to add this one as well. I actually sent one off to CGC to get graded. So hopefully uh, that comes back good, and I'll show you guys when that comes in. And last but not least, the final Fantastic Four I got was this 244, very iconic cover with Galactus hand. And forget who that is. Um, it's not Silver Surfer, but I'm not sure who it is. Drop down if you know. But very cool. But I did get something very, very um, sought after in my collection as well. Like I said, they had a whole lot of the old issues on sale, and I saw this on there, like the display rack. And uh, for the price I paid, was happy to finally add this in the collection. I think I'm actually going to send this off to get graded. Um, I don't know if it'll get high, maybe like a, an 8.0, 8.5. Um, but still something I just want to preserve. You know, I have a tendency for messing things up and getting them damaged. So putting them in these slabs kind of just prevents that from happening for me. So um, we have Batman Beyond number one. So very, very iconic uh, comic book right here. It's starting to heat up a little bit. I think there might do it. Uh, TV show or movie for Batman Beyond and uh, very very happy to add this collection uh, I think I paid like 20 bucks for it so couldn't beat that and um, you know I, I just grew up watching the TV show on WB Kids and uh, this is more like the 90s kind of uh, kid in these I like to, to kind of gravitate towards things I remember when I was a kid and uh, this is definitely one of those things so I think this is the Six Flags issue but I don't see the Six Flags thing down there so if anybody knows uh, let me know, but I don't believe the Six Flags, so let me know if you know more about this, but the Batman Beyond number one was an issue I had to get, and uh, very happy to add it in the collection. So, very happy to get all those comics. I think in total I might have spent like 100 bucks, so um, to get, what, maybe 40, 50 comic books for 100 bucks, you can't beat that. Um, comic books are definitely cheap. <laughs> You know, hobby, you know, Funko Pops, you pay one is 15 bucks. So I always like that, you know, I can go in there, get a whole lot of different things and not spend too much money. So let me know your thoughts about what I got today for New Comic Book Day. Let me know what your favorite is in the comment section below. If you've not already hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and also follow me on Instagram at The Pop Savage so you can stay connected on there as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and until next time, I'll see you later.